let's welcome today the 707 horsepower 6.2 liter supercharged crate hemi engine kit the hell crate that you can see in the mopar garage <laughs> never before has anyone offered a factory direct 707 horsepower plug and play solution to help us go through the details let's bring mark warman back in this video back at mopar seems they would like us to build another car form for sema 2017 the world famous hellcat they've now got that available in a crate engine the plymouth superbird they only made it for a few months it was a 1970 model car now fast forward almost 50 years the hellcat engine is a small block and it creates 707 horsepower to the rear tires so this is going to lighten the car up by several hundred pounds and increase its horsepower to the ground by at least 500. So this thing's going to be absolutely wild. Now, let's welcome Mark Warman on stage. Hi, Pietro. Hi, Mark. How are you? So, you did it again. Yes, Mark? we did. Did we, you have fun? I beg your pardon? Did you have fun? Oh, we had a blast, yes. Well, it's always panicky because you guys like to give us three or four weeks to get, to get it done. <laughs> so, but once we get past the nerves and we get to start working on it, uh, it was a great time. Dave did an amazing job. Will in the paint shop. Everybody really came together on this car. Uh, it's, I, I hate to confess that the plug and play computer was the easiest part of the entire build. The hardest great. thing was getting that uh, Hellcat engine underneath the hood of the Superbird because of the blower that's on the topper supercharger, I call them blowing from the old school. It made it so tall when we shut the hood down, it was hitting. And so we decided that we were gonna lower the cradle down two inches to give us a little bit of gap. So if you look, there's actually a spacer on the next one. We'd you know, pre-engineer that into the Cayman Bird. But yes, it, it was a blast to do. And when we started that thing up, that was real. That was the first time. And that was just a couple days before now. So we were very <laughs> glad that that thing was running. So the plug and play concept uh, works. Oh, the plug and play concept, perfect on that. Just <laughs> amazingly, like it, we were just as astonished when we started up our CUDA last year no problem at all we plug it together and think oh sure yeah that's gonna work and it does so when we finish this him and i crossed our fingers he hit the key and bam it started right up it's like how you love it so we did one in chris jacobs car the 68 gtx same thing it takes us a lot less time to wire that thing than it does to put the engines in them so talking about your super bird that is actually there in the, in the middle of our stand let's talk about uh, your obsession with green Oh, I see where you're going with that. Okay. Okay. It's cool. Um, you're referring to last year's build. Yeah. Yes. That was FJ6 Sassy Grass Green. That's a much darker, more of a M&M &M green. This is the FJ5 Limelight Green, considerably different. Uh, I don't know if I would say I'm obsessed with green. Here's, here's the truth. I'm colorblind as a bat. You want to hear it? You want to break me down in front of a million people? I'm colorblind. So green is one of the few colors I can see. So I love all the shades of green. So this, uh, at least you, you understand that uh, he gave me a lesson about uh, all the greens in the history of Plymouth, uh, Dodge, Chrysler. FF3, FF4, FF5, FF5, yeah, FJ6, yeah. yeah. So I as I said, Mark EF8. Superbird is on the floor, so be sure to check it out later when we are done with the, with the press conference. But, uh, I'm please. sorry, I'm so sorry. I just, I know we had a little bit of... Uh, 
pushback on our social media when we announced it today. It started life as a Plymouth Roadrunner, and we converted it to look like a Plymouth Superbird. So as you guys know, I'm an OEM nut, so I probably wouldn't do that to a Superbird. But right now, if you went out, you could order that car. That's the way it would look. Great. And uh, thank you again for coming uh, out at SEMA and also to be to have, having been again the first one to install a, our crate Hemi kit uh, in, a, in a car. I also want to thank you for being such a large supporter and advocate of the mobile brand. And we have a little surprise for you. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, we really consider you one of the top ambassadors of our brand. So to show our thanks, this is an award that we are going to institute this year for the, as the 2017 Mobile Brand Advocate Award. Congratulations. That's awesome. Pure Mopar. I love it. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. So thank, you. Much. thank you for what thank you, you do for the brand and thank you for the help. Later, I'm doing a karate lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Thank you. This is just great. It is just great to see the, <laughs> the Hemi family grow uh, year after year. We have many other products, many other powertrain products on display at the show, and they are available right now. So please take a look, uh, and obviously we are ready to take orders if you want. We know that our, there are a lot of out, there are a lot of you out there with classic vehicles, and we are here to support you with parts and accessories, just like we support vehicles coming off uh, the production line today. 